Welcome to the kindergarten graduation at Mike Ross Morris. We are so glad to be happy.
Um, I'm really trying not to cry for this. Um, I was in the doctor's office last week and I read this little quote that said, from, mighty, from, let's see, from tiny seeds to mighty trees. And it kind of made me think about what we do here and what we do with these kids. Because every day we plant seeds. As do you at home. So at school, we teach them how to get along with each other. We teach them how to work together. We teach them how to swim. We teach them how to take care of themselves. We teach them how to grow things in the garden. And they go home to you and you teach them family values and have love. So we're all planting seeds to show them about strength and courage and being committed and starting and finishing what you start and to be a part of a school family. And I would be remiss if I didn't take a minute to thank my wonderful staff. So would you please stand so we can honor you. These teachers have done a wonderful job of your children. Not just these teachers, but we have Coach Bonner, Mr. Knabel. We have all of our staff that love and know your kids. You know that. But I want to thank you for everything you've given us this year. And I hope that you, you feel like we've nurtured your babies and that we've helped them to grow because we love it. But I would be remiss if I didn't say how much work I, I acknowledge that you do at home. I had the sweetest mom that said, oh my God, Miss Adams, I just didn't realize that being a kindergarten mom would be so hard. I said, what do you mean? She goes, this is really hard work. She said, I didn't realize going to kindergarten would be this rough. She goes, they learn a lot. I said, yeah, they do. And did you know that our children, we have children that scored in the third grade reading range on the standardized tests. That is so exciting and so impressive. So I do thank you very much for all of the work that you put together because this is definitely a team effort. Boys and girls, I'm so proud of you. Give me your eyeballs. <laughs> Y'all did a great job, and y'all are doing such a good job today being patient. I'm proud of you. Thank y'all for being a part of our families. If you are leaving us next year, know that we'll always love you, and you'll always have a place here. And if you're staying, know that we're going to love your babies all the way until they're big, healthy trees graduate sixth grade. Thank you. Thank you.
Jake Childers. Award for Social Studies Achievement, Athletic Achievement, Speediest Worker, and Most Energetic. Brian Ellsworth is, he has a stomach flu and he is not here, but I'm going to read his words anyway. Brian Ellsworth, best storyteller, most helpful boy, athletic achievement, and the Spanish Award. <laughs> Jordan Granberg, most persistent, most hardworking, Award for Math Achievement and Athletic Achievement. George Kettle. Friendliest Boy, Most Inquisitive, The Spanish Award, and Athletic Achievement. Most Confident. Perfect Attendance, Spelling Award, Award for Music Achievement, and Athletic Achievement. Here's Maddie. Scholarship Award, Leadership Award, Spelling Award, Award for Music Achievement, and Athletic Achievement. Fatima Kasi, Most Trustworthy, The Spanish Award, Award for Language Arts Achievement, Athletic Achievement, and Music Achievement. Pitar <laughs> Kasi, Most Artistic Boy, Most Curious, the Spanish Award, an award for athletic achievement. <laughs> Xavier Reyes, Science Award, Perfect Attendance, the award for Best Builder, and athletic achievement. <laughs> El Savant, Best Handwriting, most Helpful Girl, Best Reader, Award for Music Achievement, and Athletic Achievement. <laughs> Ivy Tom, Most Artistic Girl, Most Generous, Award for Music Achievement, and Athletic Achievement.
Thank you. 